Hello everybody and welcome back to Vegas Sports Talk and I am reviewing the Golden Knights game tonight when they took on the Boston Bruins and I saw this one coming but I did not expect it to be like this. So let's get into it. Um, there was good early pressure right Boston in the first minute and it looked like they were in control of the pace of play in the first period and they did just that. But on the first Vegas shot, Stone scores from Schmidt at 124, short side on Halak and I like to probably want that goal back because it was kind of a cheap goal. Um, then there's a Nick Cave penalty for interference at 135. Um, good look for Pasternak, big save from Flurry, and the Vegas Golden Knights killed the power play. The Golden Knights killed a lot of penalties tonight because there's a lot of penalties they, they enforced. Um, there was a penalty on Stone for tripping, occurred because of Nick Cave turnover behind Flurry. So Nick Cave cost a triple penalty there, but Killed by the Golden Knights, good looks and, and chance for the Bruins. Then there was turnover by the Bruins that led to good Golden Knights pressure. They didn't score on it. And then Flurry turns turns the puck over behind the Boston goal. Um, we, well, at least a Boston goal behind their own net. Um, the Golden Knights could not clear the puck, and that was tough. So it was on scores from Krejci at eleven forty. Shots are ten to five in favor of the Boston Bruins at that point. Then there was a penalty on Char for tripping Ryan Reeves at Central Ice. Um, there was a shorthand chance for Marchand that did not go. Huge save from Flurry. Shots on goal 13 and 7 favor Boston, and they killed that power play. So we're going to the second one to one. Penalty on William Carey for interference with 18 17 remaining. Then there was a bad play by Flurry behind the net. Um, Bruins shot it through the wide open crease, so they got lucky there. Um, another penalty on Vegas with too many men. And I don't think terrible run to go on That's bad discipline. That's bad coaching. So, that one was on Peter DeBoer. Um, penalty was killed. Good setup by Marshall Stone. After that penalty, it was a near goal, but it did not go. Um, good look for Pasternak. Misses rebound wide. Then there was a penalty on Boston's Carlo. Second power for the Golden Knights. And then Hay scores his first ever goal from Schmidt and Marshall so at 10.59. That's a power play goal. Um, and then there was back and forth play by both teams. Good looks for Debris fit. Um, boarding by, um, Stevenson on McAvoy. Um, scrum ensues between Chara and BGK. Power play for Boston. County was killed by the Golden Knights on the Stevenson County. So we are going into the third period, 2-1. to one, But Boston had all the control. There was a 2-on-1 for Boston. Good block by Nick Hague to stop the chance. And then DeBrus scores from Coyle at 426, and this one momentum switched. Um, Boston was controlling play six minutes into the period. Good look for Pastoretti and tight, saved by Halak. And Krejci scores from Heinen and Carlo at 1218. So it's 3-2, and I know the game is over at that point. I wrote down, the Golden Knights love blowing leads, huh? Time to trade some players to Kelly McCrimmon, because the defense was bad tonight. They needed to trade some of the players away to get better defensemen. Um, continued pressure on the Bruins after goal two minutes earlier. There was a good look for Cody Eakin after Boston turnover in defensive zone. Cody Eakin had a good game tonight. He doesn't show up on the stats, but he had a really good game. Um, the Golden Knights pull Flurry with 140 remaining. Knights getting pressure. 31 seconds left. They want a face off. Nothing would have come out of that. But there was a good defensive play by Mark Stone to save a goal with 12 seconds left. And the Golden Knights got one last rush and not score on it. But still, I thought I could put that down because it saved me from writing down another goal. So, I was happy about that. So, the final score is 3-2 for the Boston Bruins. So, the Golden Knights go on the break with 57 points, and they did this win tonight. A win tonight would have gave them 59 points and be first in the Pacific. But now they just look like they're slacking behind the game. They might not make the playoffs. And, I, and as right now, I don't expect them to make the playoffs. I do not expect them to. Shots 8 to 14 Boston in the first, 8 to 9 Boston in the second, 13 to 14 Boston in the third, 29 37 in favor of Boston. Three stars Keetry, Nebraska, and Lazon. Um, Flurry 34 to 37. He played good tonight. This game could have got really out of hand for the Golden Knights if it wasn't for him. Power play went 1 for 2. Halak 27 to 29. Their power play went 0 for 5. Halak had a good game. He got that short side goal early in the game, but that was pretty much his only fault. So. The Golden Knights are in trouble, and fans just don't want to admit it. And I know Vegas fans are passionate, but they need to see realistic here that their team doesn't look like a playoff team right now. 
And for Boston, they get another two points. And this was a really good game played by the Bruins after they blew a three goal lead against Pittsburgh. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Vegas on Twitter and Instagram at Vegas Sports Talk. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, the Rebels play tomorrow night, so my review for that will be up probably Thursday afternoon because that game is at 8 o'clock, so I'm not staying up till 11 o'clock to film that video. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys again then.